Hey y'all, happy Monday. I know I've been promising you a house update. So just an update on our home. We do have a roof on our home. They have fully gutted our home. Um, they had to do that due to asbestos and because so much rain came in, so it all just had to come out. So it is down to the studs. Our home has a roof, our back office has a roof, and they've removed our carport. We are waiting on a quote from our insurance adjuster to come through so we can finish getting the rest of the money off the policy to be able to continue work in the home. Um, there have been lots of things going on with that. Um, it has been hard. You definitely have to stay on top of it as a homeowner. Um, things are not always easy. Um, I know I've talked a lot about like the goodness of the Lord through this and all of that is so true. And so that is one thing I was actually listening today to a podcast about don't measure the size of the mountain. Remember how big your God is. And that is something I want you guys to know. Like I want God to be so glorified in all of these videos I'm sharing with you. That's my family's desire. I know that um, we want, you know, our memories to hold on to. We want to know and remember like the provisions of the Lord. Like that's the purpose of doing these videos. Um, but I don't want you to think, oh my goodness, like they are incredible. Look at, look at how like they celebrate the Lord and, and they just had so much joy through all of this and they handled this so well and so perfectly. And that is so not true. <laughs> um, God has taught us a lot and humbled us a lot and it has been a struggle and it's been hard. Um, and it's not, this isn't an easy road. I would not wish this on anyone. It's so difficult. But if this is the purpose that we are created for, and this is the means that God wants to be glorified, then this is what we want to do, and we want to do it well. Um, so by no means are we perfect. Um, I'm actually going to share a very vulnerable moment with you guys. Um, I had a hard time after the tornado um, when I couldn't find things. I'm a very organized type A person and um, I like things to be in their place and where they're supposed to be. And it just so happened that none of that was happening. So I tried to organize the room that we had with like the stuff that we had and it just wasn't going well. I attempted, it just wasn't in my favor. And so I had some keys to the car that I was using and I could not find them. I was like, where are my keys? And it wasn't quite like that. Um, I kind of had a, 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 a moment, I guess is what we'll call it. I had a moment um, where I was like, I know I left my keys here and they're not here. Somebody's done picked them up and moved them. Like, why do y'all keep moving stuff? And I was just frustrated and definitely showed my tail. Um, frustrated, tired, all that fun stuff. So, um, I go into where like some of my clothes were and I look through and there's my keys in my shorts pockets. I definitely didn't leave them on the countertop. And, um, I had to go and apologize. And my dad, I love my father, just like kind of shows me how I was acting and how I was being very dramatic. And it was definitely a moment where we all just busted out in laughter. Me, my mom, my dad, my brother, my grandma, my grandpa, all of us, we just cracked up. Like it was hilarious. But in the moment, it wasn't as funny because it definitely was showing my tail. And so like, I do get easily frustrated and things do happen. Um, but God is still glorified. He's still honored. He's still like, he knows we struggle. And so, and he's there to carry us through it. Um, he loves us and he is just so good to us. Like even in our weaknesses, he's strong. That's what the Bible talks about. Like in, in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. So, um, I definitely don't want you to be like, oh my goodness, like Elizabeth and her family have been so perfect through all this. Definitely haven't definitely had our moments. It's been a struggle. Um, the reason why I can talk more about this now is because we are, you know, on some of the other side of it. Now, do we still walk through this tornado stuff? Yes. Are we still going through it? Very actively, we are going through it. But are we in the middle of just having come out of an F4 tornado? No. Um, we are now in the process of reconstructing homes and tying up loose ends and getting business finished, you know, and 
trying to get back into our home. And so those are things, do we still have needs? Yes. Are we still, like, do we still have extremely stressful days? Yes. Is it still very stressful? Yes. But the Lord has been with us and he continues to be with us and he continues to lead and guide and direct us. And so um, I want you to know, like, the struggle is real and it's okay to struggle in life. Um, God doesn't love you any less. Um, And people around you want you to be real. Um, They don't want you necessarily to show your attitude all the time, me, you know, but they, they want you to be real and they want you to know, like, it's okay to struggle and it's okay to have bad days. Like you don't have to be perfect. So those are just some of the things I wanted to share with you, give you an update on the house really quickly. Um, yeah. And we'll hit more on Saturday next week. Looking forward to talking to y'all soon. Bye. Well, if I can stop my video, sorry, let's try this again. Great rest of your week.